Greetings to each of you. I am Sister Pat Phillips, SHCJ. I'm happy to be with you today, Friday, October 12th. Let's talk about filling our lives with good. In today's gospel, we have another instance where the enemies of Jesus are trying everything to catch him. They say his power to cast out demons is from Beelzebub, the devil. In the time of Jesus, there were many exorcists, so others were also casting out demons. Jesus tells them, then they are also casting out demons through the power of the devil. It turns out that the enemies of Jesus resort to slander when opposition doesn't work. Isn't it true that we humans tend most easily to think the worst of others. Then Jesus goes on to tell them that when the evil spirit leaves a person and all is swept clean but empty, then the devil goes back and gets seven spirits and goes back to the person. The person's last state is worse than the first. So what is the takeaway from this part of the story? We cannot leave the soul empty. Good must come in. Satan is adept at finding mischief for idle hands to do. We can avoid evil by doing good, not by doing nothing. Take a look at a lovely garden full of flowers. There is no room for the weeds to grow. It's not enough to uproot the weeds Flowers must be planted there. So, how about in the world of thoughts? Often when we are troubled with bad thoughts, if we just say, I will not think about that, all we do is fix our thoughts on it more. The thing to do is think of something else, something good. We never become good by not doing things, but by filling our lives with lovely things. How about giving that a try? Have a great day. And today, when that evil thought comes, replace it with a good thought.